Stephen, I'll start with you. What more are we learning about the victims at the mall? What do we know about the shooter now? Yeah, we are learning a great deal more, Kate. We've now identified four of those eight victims and uh, some disturbing information here. Two of those victims just confirmed by Wiley ISD. That's another suburb in the area. Two of them elementary school aged. Fourth grader Daniela Mendoza and second grader Sofia Mendoza. Their mother remains in critical condition, according to that school district. Christian LaCour was a security guard. His mother posted about him on Facebook, saying he was just 20 years old. And Ashwarya Tarikanda was a 27-year-old from India working as an engineer here in the area. That information provided by a group that's helping her family. As for that suspect, we are learning a great deal more about him as well. He joined the Army back in 2008, but was kicked out just after about three months there, either with a physical or a mental condition, he did not complete basic training. That information coming from the military. And we're also seeing more of the suspect's social media posts. There's a YouTube video where he's seen wearing a mask similar to that featured in the Scream movies. He re removes it to reveal his face in just a, a creepy video posted there on YouTube. Also postings on a Russian social media platform where he says things uh, against women and against minorities, talks about other uh, recent mass shootings as well, just some disturbing stuff. Also some photos there where he appears to have uh, tattoos of uh, Nazis uh, on his uh, chest and his arms, just uh, more disturbing information to come out of here, guys. Stephen, so many, yeah, so many new details. So this incident, once again, reigniting the gun debate there in Texas, the location of many mass shootings. What's your sense about what's happening there, what the community is calling for? Yeah, there are a lot of dynamics here at play, Vicky. And as I mentioned before that I'm from this area, I'm hearing from people who are gun advocates, who like to go hunting, who are also saying something has to change. There needs to be some new measures passed. And they're not really hearing that from Governor Greg Abbott. He focused a great deal over the weekend on mental health. He spoke more today about what he says needs to be done. Let's listen. In the coming days, the public will be much better informed about why and how this happened. And that will inform us as Texas leaders about next steps to take to try to prevent crimes like this from taking place in the future. We are here today because of their chaos. This loose gun laws that they have passed. That's why we're here today, because Governor Abbott and Dan Patrick and everybody like them have made this country, this state, more dangerous by having no gun laws. State Senator Roland Gutierrez, they're demanding changes, but people I'm talking to here, they don't have a lot of faith that any changes are actually going to happen. Back to you. All right, Stephen Romo, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.